Summer is almost here, so naturally many consumers are going to be thinking about going to their local theme park. I'm here with Matt We met the CEO of Cedar Fair, a company that has done extremely well this year, stock up nearly 30%. Let's talk a little bit more about why theme parks have held up well during a sluggish economy. Yeah, I think the, the fundamental answer has to be the consumer sees value, right? I tell people that if in this economy they have to make uh, difficult budget decisions, particularly in terms of their entertainment dollar, and we are able to do record year after record year, it means we're doing something right. And so we hope we can just be part of their fun for the summer. Now, do you think that if the economy slowly improves, which some people think it is, will that somewhat strangely hurt your business because people may be more willing to go on bigger destination vacations as opposed to short road trips? You know, it's funny. I used to think that. Um, it's changing a little bit now. I do think what will happen if the economy improves, there are those people who have had to give us up and hopefully we'll come back, right? But there's also these people now who've discovered that road trip Cedar Point uh, brings back some memories from their childhood and they can avoid an airport. So I think we may go from staycation to funcations and still be okay when the economy gets better. Talk about the fact that we had a very high profile IPO, SeaWorld going public this year. Has that helped, in your opinion, raise the, uh, the level of awareness for your company and some of the others like Six Flags? Yeah, I think you characterize that, characterize that right. Having more public companies where investors can get more information is always helpful. And I think it's raised our profile. They are, uh, by all indications, doing extremely well. It's a good management team. I know the SeaWorld guy as well. And so we're rooting for them as obviously we're rooting for everybody else in the industry. Now, any good theme park is only obviously as good as the rides and attractions. I understand at the flagship park, you just opened a new roller coaster, the Gatekeeper. Talk a little bit more about just what the process is, the research and development, the, the capital investment that's involved in bringing a new roller coaster you know, to one of your parks. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because some of, the, some of the most fun decisions I get to make are about a new ride or attraction, right? But it takes us a little over two years to take it from a concept to actually deliver it, and Gatekeeper is exactly on that schedule. Uh, as I said to you a little bit earlier, it's about finding what the consumer wants. And in this case, at the roller coaster capital of the world at Cedar Point, they wanted another coaster. And this is seven years since we did our last one. And this weekend, we unveiled it to the public and had our most successful weekend, opening weekend, we've had in 144 years. Wow. Now, like you said, I think when we were talking off camera, trying to pick your favorite roller coaster is trying to pick your favorite child. You're not really supposed to do that, but going to put you on the spot because you've been on, what, hundreds of roller coasters probably in your career? Yeah, the great news is I've been on literally hundreds. And so I tell people exactly what you said is it's hard to pick one. It's like picking a favorite kid. I've got a son and daughter. I love them equally. I want them to know that. Uh, but this year, Gatekeeper is my honor student.